In this presentation, we will take a look at some multiple choice questions related to cash and internal controls. First question, document that the purchasing department prepares and sends to the vendor to place an order is called the A. Purchase requisition B. Invoice Eat unless you submit an invoice C. Receiving report Report D. Purchasing document or E. Purchase order Let's go through this one more time. There should be a D here, by the way, that we're missing. I'll just put that there. That's a D. <laughs> so here we go. Document that the purchasing department prepares and sends to the vendor to place an order is called the A. Purchasing request. Sounds kind of reasonable. I'm going to keep it for now. B is an invoice. Uh, we're not going to send the invoice because that's what we send to our customers in order to it's basically a bill to our customers for services we did not what we're purchasing so that's not it c is a receiving report uh, it might sound reasonable but really that's going to be the report that we get you know when we get the stuff so that's actually not it that's not the request d says purchasing document um yeah it sounds kind of reasonable i'll keep that for now and E says purchase order. So we're gonna read through this one more time. We're gonna say the document that the purchasing department prepares and sends to the vendor to place an order is called the purchase requisition uh, or purchasing document or purchase order. Now of those three, uh, you kinda of just gotta know the terminology here and that's gonna be a purchase order. So it's gonna be actually be the purchase order. And that's going to be something, uh, the purchase order is a little bit different than we might say when we purchase something from Amazon or something like that, where we pay before we, you know, get the stuff sent to us. If we're a merchandising company and we may often be able to uh, send a purchase order requesting that, they re that we get the stuff sent to us, the inventory, before we make the payment. So there's actually no transaction related to the purchase order, typically something that the purchasing department will be in charge of to to issue the purchase order next question during the month company issued a check but the check did not clear the bank during the month when preparing bank reconciliation the company should a deduct the check amount from the book balance of cash b add the check amount to the book balance of cash c tell the bank they made an error d add the check amount to the bank balance or e make a journal entry in the company records for an error okay so let's read through this one more time during the month company issued a check but the check did not clear the bank during the month when preparing the bank reconciliation the bank should so if we break this down we're, we're pretty much thinking okay this sounds like a bank reconciliation type problem because during the month the company issued a check we wrote a check but the check did not clear the bank so we're talking about an unclear check an outstanding check and that's typically going to be something that we're going to have to record on the bank reconciliation in order to reconcile the bank balance to the book balance. So if we go through this, we're going to say, okay, um, A, deduct the check amount from the book balance of cash. Now, we're going to have to do something. This sounds like a bank reconciliation transaction, but we're not going to do something to the book balance. Our book balance is right. We wrote the check. We decreased our checking account by what we wrote. It's just that it didn't get recorded by the bank yet because they don't have it yet. So it's not going to be A. B says add the check amount to the book balance of cash. Again, it's our books are right. So our books are okay. So it's not B. C says tell the bank they made an error. And the bank didn't really make an error. They just haven't, they just don't know yet. It's just a timing difference. Once, once they know, then they're going to record the check on their side. It'll happen the next month. So it's not really C. D says add the check amount to the bank balance. And that seems like what we're going to do when we when we think about our bank reconciliation. The bank balance is going to have to go up. So I think that's going to be it. But let's read E. Make journal entry in the company records for an error. And again, we didn't make an error, really. We Our books are right. The check actually went out and uh, that's good. It's the bank that's not quite right, but it's only not right, not because of an error, but because they don't know yet. It's a timing difference. So the correct answer is D, full question. During the month, company issued a check, but the check did not clear the bank during the month. When preparing a bank reconciliation, company should D, add the check amount to the bank balance, basically the bank balance side of the bank reconciliation in order to reconcile the bank reconciliation. 
Next question. Report identifying differences between the cash balance in a company's records and the bank balance reported in the bank is A. Internal audit B. Bank reconciliation C. Bank statement D. Error statement or E. Trial balance So we'll read through it one more time, see if we can cross some options off with the process of elimination. Report identifying differences between the cash balance in the company's records and the balance reported in the bank is A. Internal controls So it's not going to be A, it's, it, it's, it is kind of an internal control, but that's not as specific as it could be. B. A bank reconciliation And that's, that's pretty much it, that's what we're doing here. Uh, C. Says the bank statement Now, we might get those two confused, like the bank statement and the bank reconciliation, but uh, the bank statement is what we get from the bank. That's that's the and our reconciliation will be reconciling the two. D says error statements. It's that's not it. I'm not sure that's really a thing that we're talking about here in our chapter here. So E says trial balance, and that's not it. That's not the trial balance. So it's going to be B. Let's read through it one more time. Report identifying differences between the cash balance in the company's records and the balance reported on the bank in the bank is the bank reconciliation. That's what the bank reconciliation does. It reports the difference between what we have on our books and what is on the bank statement. Next question. On a bank reconciliation, an amount of an unrecorded bank service charge should be A. Added to the book balance of cash B. Added to the bank balance of cash C. Deducted from the bank balance of cash D. Deducted from the book balance uh, E. Noted in the notes to the bank statement So one more time, we'll read through this, see if we can cross anything off with the process of elimination uh, On a bank reconciliation, an amount of an unrecorded bank service charge should be So an unrecorded bank service charge would be something that is on the bank statement that we don't have on our books because we didn't know about it because it's on the bank statement and uh, and the bank just took money out of our account and told us about it basically when we get the bank statement. So A says it should be added to the book balance of cash. Uh, it's going to have to adjust the book balance. It's something that we didn't have in place, but we're not going to add it. We're going to have to subtract it because it's a service charge. So our books are wrong. They're too high by the fact that we didn't record the service charge yet because we didn't know about it until we got the bank statement. B says added to the bank balance of cash. Added to the bank balance. It's not going to change the bank balance. The bank's going to say they're right. You know, they already deducted this. So it's not going to be added back there unless we can convince them not to charge us for the service charge, which is unlikely. And then C says deducted from the bank balance of cash. Um, again, it's not going to be on the bank balance that we're going to adjust because the bank balance is right. D says deducted from the book balance. And that looks like it's going to be the one. There's a service charge that we didn't know about. And so we're going to have to fix our book balance and adjust and subtract it from our book balance. E says noted in the notes to the bank statement. And we might do that, but we're also going to have to actually make an adjustment. It's not just a note. It's all we need. So D looks like the correct answer. One more time. Question and answer is... On a bank reconciliation, an amount of an unrecorded bank service charge should be D, deducted from the book balance.